unlikely film trailers. The new all-female Ghostbusters. The CGI looks amazing because we saved 30% on actors' wages. <laughs> It's the autoerotic asphyxiation thriller, Die Hard. <laughs> Very good. OK, next topic. Unlikely things to hear on a makeover show. When Susan approached us, she was overweight, she had terrible hair, and her self-esteem was at rock bottom. But now, thanks to our team, she's got a new kitchen. <laughs> Oh, we just did a spruce up, really. You know, we dusted, got rid of the cobweb, sorted out the curtains downstairs, and, uh, yeah, I'll probably shag her now. <laughs> you wouldn't hear in a nature show. The best way to tell the difference between an Indian and an African elephant is that one of them is an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm not an elephant. <laughs> The gibbon is widely considered to be the most frequent masturbator in the entire animal kingdom. We'll see about that. <laughs> As the three lions circle the female, we ask, when will footballers learn that no means no? <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely chat-up lines. Hey, uh, are you a parking ticket? Cos I picked you up on the street and now I can't afford to pay you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so when you sit there seductively licking your lips, that's sexy. But when I do it, I'm weird and should get off your lips. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you're nothing like my ex-girlfriend. She was so demanding. Always asked me to text her when I got in. That's how small my penis is. <laughs> You've got an arse that just won't quit, despite calling an election and losing a majority. <laughs> <laughs> if you were on an Indian menu, you would have three chilies next to you, because you make me shit myself. <laughs> Things a sport commentator would never say. Eight no balls in a row. You join us for the women's 100-metre final. <laughs> The referee there taking down Ronaldo's number. Not really the time or the place, but good to see we've kicked homophobia out of football. <laughs> Incredible delivery from Serena Williams. The baby came out in seven minutes and she didn't even shit herself. <laughs> OK. The next topic is unlikely lines from a thriller. Boss, I've got some news about the criminal who's been impersonating Sting. He's turned himself into the police. <laughs> Mr. Brown, meet Mr. White. I really should learn these diplomats' names. <laughs> this elevator company is corrupt, and I think it goes all the way to the top. <laughs> Unlikely lines from a sci-fi film. I can't fly this thing without a manual. Forget about a manual, he's not coming back. <laughs> I've been asleep for a thousand years, cryogenically frozen in time, and now I wake up and see, oh, someone's drawn a cock and balls on my face, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next up again. Things you wouldn't hear on a political discussion show. On tonight's programme, we'll be discussing the NHS, fracking and affordable housing. <laughs> Only joking, it's fucking Brexit again. <laughs> We keep trying ways to stop ISIS and we keep failing. So I ask you this, has anyone tried a petition? <laughs> yes, we had a question from a man wearing glasses and a red and white striped jumper. Does anyone know where he's sitting? <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at the World Cup. Well, it's official. England are out and we can go back to identifying people with flags in their windows as racist. <laughs> oh, and that is a huge tackle. That has got to make it more difficult to roll a blade. <laughs> well, we didn't think it was possible, but somehow Gareth Southgate has managed it. 
England eliminated before the group stage. <laughs> That's a shocking miss from Jesus. They are going to absolutely crucify him for that. <laughs> Next topic is things you wouldn't hear in a charity appeal. The thing with a disease like HIV is that many people are just ignorant. Most people don't even realise that HIV is just Roman for high five. <laughs> With your money last year, we took this homeless man and completely transformed him into a homeless woman. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to write to TV channels. Dear The News, I don't know how many times I will write this to you, but next time you do the weather, please will you say, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh... Dear BBC, I saw a man flossing on one of your panel shows and now I want to kill myself. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear on a travel documentary. After a long journey, I'm here in Chad. Great to experience an authentic American frat party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here on safari in Africa, and next to me is a lynx, and... Yep, smells exactly like a 15-year-old virgin. <laughs> This really is a once-in-a-lifetime trip. I'm here at Dignitas. <laughs> and the locals let me swim with dolphins, which I later found out was their way of telling me I'm terminally ill. <laughs> Rejected exam questions. If an apple a day keeps a normal doctor away, how many apples would you have needed to defeat Harold Shipman? <laughs> This is your PE practical exam. For 30 marks, bully that little pale boy until he has to become a comedian. <laughs> How fresh is Dara, really? <laughs> what do you think? What, 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 what? So, you just turned 16, did you? All right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely lines from kids' film and TV shows. The brave little toaster's owner was about to take him on his wildest adventure yet, all the way to the brave little bath. <laughs> So it turns out Flowerpot Men is no longer politically correct, and they will be henceforth known as Bill and Ben, the gays. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu Panda, the least racist hero of all time, as he is black and white and Asian. <laughs> <laughs> but Quasimodo, what makes you think you need to see a back doctor? Uh, I have a hunch. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on the radio. Give yourself a spray of Lynx Africa, open up a can of Relentless, sit back in your cargo shorts and relax. This is Virgin Radio. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Coming up, we have got some of the sickest tracks from some of the illest artists around. This is karaoke on Hospital Radio. <laughs> At number two, that was Ed Sheeran with Galway Girl. And now at number one for the 50th week in a row, Ed Sheeran with Galway Girl. <laughs> <laughs> On Jazz FM, it's a new entry at number one. It's skip it a bab bab bib it a bab beam. Sorry, I was having a stroke. It's Ed Sheeran, Galway Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and we interrupt this broadcast to bring you the tragic news that Aretha Franklin has sadly passed away. And what better way to show our respect for Miss Franklin than with Galway Girl by Ed Sheeran? <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Lines you wouldn't read in a romantic novel. As he climaxed inside her, John knew he would never be allowed to visit the Statue of Liberty again. <laughs> <laughs> After five unrelenting hours, James really began to regret making his safe word harder. <laughs> As he looked at her lower back tattoo of two little birds, one word came to mind. Swallows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I know I'm supposed to get over you, he said, but it's, it's too difficult. I'm constantly reminded of you every time I look at the nutritional info on a packet of food and I see Fat Trace. <laughs> Unlikely lines from a sci-fi film or TV show. OK, I've done it. The time machine is complete. Now, your mission is to go back to 1890 and milkshake baby Hitler. <laughs> So, I'm the blue Power Ranger, that's the green Power Ranger, uh, that's the yellow Power Ranger, and over there is the white Power... the, uh, the Power Ranger who wears white. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to open up a wormhole and go back in time. I've just sent a dick pic to my dad. <laughs> What's that? E.T. phone home? You'll be doing more than phoning, mate. Brexit means Brexit. <laughs> OK, our next topic is commercials that never made it to air. Do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Have you tried looking at boobs? <laughs> <laughs> STD clinics, because you don't know what you've got till it's gonorrhea. <laughs> Wind chimes, for when your neighbours don't think you're enough of a fucking prick. <laughs> Unlikely lines from a thriller. Welcome to my haunted mansion. If these walls could talk, I'd almost certainly have masturbated less. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to hand in your badge. A Blue Peter presenter could not be caught wanking in the garden. <laughs> Just when I thought the case couldn't get any worse, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I'm oh, sorry, Romesh, you just got a lazy eye. It's quite hard to tell who you are. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear at an award show. Welcome to the National Car Key Awards. But first, let's take a look at some of the keys we have lost this year. <laughs> And now for Satnav of the Year. And I can honestly say, without this Satnav, I would not be where I am today. <laughs> Here we have it, the winner of Saudi Thief of the Year. Please, give him a hand. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear over a tannoy. And if you look out of the window on your left, you will see Christ the Redeemer, because I've crashed the plane and this is the afterlife. <laughs> uh, just a reminder that when we asked you to report anything that doesn't look right, we meant sort of like terrorist stuff, not just a baby wearing ripped jeans. <laughs> This is your train driver. I don't wish to alarm you, but it seems that we have travelled into space. Now, nobody... Uh, night time. Night time again. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Next topic is... Unlikely lines from a blockbuster movie. Ah! Oh, shit! Ah, oh, that hurts so much. God, I hate living in Lego world. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Sorry? Yes, I did go to private school. How'd you know that? <laughs> Do you want to know why they call me the Riddler? It's because all of my partners are riddled with STDs. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear in a religious program. And Jesus was born in a manger, surrounded by sandwiches and cappuccinos, for this was a pretter manger. <laughs> Welcome to the show in which a man wearing a turban will help you when you can't get through the chain barriers. This is Seek Assistance. <laughs> And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And then he created Eve, but he didn't fancy her, so he switched off his light, because no likey, no lighty. <laughs> the next topic is things a sports commentator would never say. Ronaldo there being booked by the referee for taking his shirt off. He should know the rules by now. You are not allowed to take the referee's shirt off. <laughs> Judges, they're all very impressed. A textbook reverse tuck. You're watching RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> and he has rested the ball there perfectly on the cushion. This really is a lovely new saddle they've made for Lance Armstrong. <laughs> oh, and here they come, running onto the field, completely naked, wearing nothing but shoes. This is an absolute dis... Sorry? I'm being informed that horses always look like that. This is my first time doing the grammar. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a breakfast show. 
And coming up, we're speaking to eight-year-old coffee aficionado Jasper, who has just claimed the title for Britain's youngest wanker. <laughs> Today on the show, we're discussing sexism. Why is it that when a woman says she slept with loads of people, she is called a slag? But when I say that, I am called a liar. <laughs> <laughs> and now for every lad's favourite part of the show, it's the weather. Over to Ice a Bloke One. Switch it to Babe Station. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely lines from a Star Wars movie. Oh, sorry I'm late, everyone. I was just in my bunk having what we refer to here on the Falcon as a hand solo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Someone's doing a Jedi mind trick on me. I'm not in control of my hand. I think they're trying to send you a message. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 